welcome back. This is Rachel from Snaps Tools. In today's video, I'll continue showing you how to crochet Dumbo's arms, nose, and other parts. If you're new here, you can check out my previous video to learn how to crochet the body of Dumbo Big Mouth Bag. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more crochet tutorials. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's start crocheting it. We will use two strands of four ply dark gray yarn to crochet Dumbo's arms. Now let's make a magic ring. Then we will start with a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. Then we will crochet six single crochets into the ring. We can place a stitch marker in the first stitch to help us easily find the first stitch when starting the next round. Now six single crochets are complete. Next, let's pull the loop tight. Then, Let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next. We will start round two. In round two, we will crochet six single crochet increases. We can place a stitch marker in the first stitch to help us easily find the first stitch when starting the next round. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now we come to the last single crochet of round two. When working the last single crochet, we will change to the blue yarn. Then we will use the blue yarn to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. A small tip, we can place the yarn end under the hook and crochet over it to hide it as we go. Now round two is complete, then chain one. Next, we will start round three. The pattern for round three to round eight will be the same. We will continue to crochet 12 single crochets in each round. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish round eight. A small tip, at the end of each round, please don't forget to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch, then chain one, then we will start the next round. Now round eight is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round nine. In round nine, first, we will crochet two single crochets. Then, in the following two stitches, let's crochet one single crochet decrease. For the method of single crochet decrease, please refer to the technique shown in my video. Next, in the following four stitches, we will continue to crochet one single crochet in each stitch for a total of four single crochets. Now, four single crochets are complete. Next, in the following two stitches, let's crochet one single crochet decrease once again. Finally, in the last two stitches, let's crochet two single crochets once again. Now, 
Now round nine is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round 10. The pattern for round 10 to round 12 will be the same. We will continue to crochet 10 single crochets in each round. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish round 12. Now round 12 is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round 13. In round 13, in the first stitch, we will crochet one single crochet. Then, in the following two stitches, let's crochet one single crochet decrease. For the method of single crochet decrease, please refer to the technique shown in my video. Next, in the following three stitches, Let's crochet three single crochets once again. Now three single crochets are complete. Next, in the following two stitches, let's crochet one single crochet decrease once again. Finally, in the last two stitches, let's crochet two single crochets once again. Now round 13 is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round 14. The pattern for round 14 and round 15 will be the same. We will continue to crochet eight single crochets in each round. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish round 15. Now, round 15 is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. At this point, one of Dumbo's arms is finished. And we will need a total of two arms. So, please follow the video to crochet another one. Then, we can cut the yarn and leave a long yarn tail for sewing later. Next, we will crochet Dumbo's legs. We will use two strands of four ply dark gray yarn to crochet Dumbo's legs. Now, let's make a magic ring. Then, we will start with a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. Then, we will crochet six single crochets into the ring. Now six single crochets are complete. Next, let's pull the loop tight. Then, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round two. In round two, we will crochet six single crochet increases. We can place a stitch marker in the first stitch to help us easily find the first stitch when starting the next round. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now, round two is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round three. The pattern for round three is one single crochet plus one single crochet increase as one set. We will repeat for six sets. This will result in a total of 18 single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round three is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round four. 
The pattern for round four is two single crochets plus one single crochet increase as one set. We will repeat for six sets. This will result in a total of 24 single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now we come to the last single crochet of round four. When working the last single crochet, we will change to the blue yarn. Then we will use the blue yarn to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. A small tip. When changing yarn colors, we need to pull the yarn ends tight. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round five. The pattern for round five to round eight will be the same. We will continue to crochet 24 single crochets in each round. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish round eight. A small tip. At the end of each round, please don't forget to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch, then chain one, then we will start the next round. Now, round eight is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round nine. The pattern for round nine is two single crochets plus one single crochet decrease. As one set, we will repeat for six sets. This will result in a total of 18 single crochets. For the method of single crochet decrease, please refer to the technique shown in my video. Now round nine is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. At this point, one of Dumbo's legs is finished, and we will need a total of two legs. So, please follow the video to crochet another one. Then, we can cut the yarn and leave a long yarn tail for sewing later. Next, we will crochet Dumbo's nose. We will use two strands of four ply blue yarn to crochet Dumbo's nose. Now, let's make a magic ring. Then, we will start with a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. Then, we will crochet six single crochets into the ring. We can place a stitch marker in the first stitch to help us easily find the first stitch when starting the next round. Now six single crochets are complete. Next, let's pull the loop tight. Then, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round two. In round two, in the first stitch, we will crochet one single crochet. Then, in the next stitch, let's crochet one single crochet increase. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Then, in the following two stitches, let's crochet two single crochets once again. Now, two single crochets are complete. Then, in the next stitch, let's crochet one single crochet increase once again. Finally, in the last stitch, 
let's crochet one single crochet once again. Now round two is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round three. The pattern for round three to round five will be the same. We will continue to crochet eight single crochets in each round. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish round five. Now, round five is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round six. The pattern for round six is three single crochets plus one single crochet increase as one set. We will repeat for two sets. This will result in a total of 10 single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round six is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round seven. The pattern for round seven and round eight will be the same. We will continue to crochet 10 single crochets in each round. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish round eight. Now round eight is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round nine. In round nine, first, we will crochet two single crochets. Then in the next stitch, let's crochet one single crochet increase. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Then in the following four stitches, let's crochet four single crochets once again. Now four single crochets are complete. Then in the next stitch, let's crochet one single crochet increase once again. Finally, in the last two stitches, let's crochet two single crochets once again. Now round nine is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round 10. The pattern for round 10 and round 11 will be the same. We will continue to crochet 12 single crochets in each round. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish round 11. Now, round 11 is complete. Next, we need to insert shaping wire into the nose. Now the wire is in place. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round 12. In round 12, we will fold the nose in half, then let's crochet six single crochets by working through the stitches on both sides.
Now round 12 is complete. At this point, Dumbo's nose is finished. Then, we can cut the yarn and leave a long yarn tail for sewing later. Next, we will crochet Dumbo's eyes. We will use one strand of four ply white yarn to crochet Dumbo's eyes. Now, let's make a magic ring. Then, we will start with a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. Then, we will crochet six single crochets into the ring. Now six single crochets are complete. Next, let's pull the loop tight. Then, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round two. In round two, first, we will crochet two single crochet increases. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now, two single crochet increases are complete. Then, in the following three stitches, let's crochet three double crochet increases. For the method of double crochet, please refer to the technique shown in my video. Double crochet increase means to crochet two double crochets into the same stitch. Now, three double crochet increases are complete. Finally, in the last stitch, let's crochet one single crochet increase once again. Now round two is complete. At this point, one of the white part of Dumbo's eyes is finished as well. Next, please do not join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. We can cut the yarn directly. Then, I will show you how to do a seamless finishing. Let's thread the yarn end into the first stitch and back into the last stitch. Then let's pull the end tight and weave in the end to hide it. Next, we will use black yarn to crochet five slip stitches on the white part to create eyelashes. First, let's find the place where we previously crocheted the double crochets. Then, let's insert the black yarn through the first stitch of the first double crochet, then chain one. Then, let's work five slip stitches into the following five stitches. Now, five slip stitches are complete. Next, we can cut the yarn and leave a long yarn tail for sewing later. And we need a total of two white parts. So, please follow the video to crochet another piece. Next, we will crochet the blue part of Dumbo's eyes. Now, let's make a magic ring. Then, we will start with a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. First, we will crochet two single crochets. Then, let's crochet three double crochets. For the method of double crochet, please refer to the technique shown in my video.
Now, three double crochets are complete. Finally, let's crochet one single crochet once again. Next, let's pull the loop tight. At this point, one of the blue part is finished. Next, please do not join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. We can cut the yarn directly. Then, I will show you how to do a seamless finishing. Let's thread the yarn end into the first stitch and back into the last stitch. Then, let's pull the end tight and weave in the end to hide it. And, we need a total of two blue parts. So, please follow the video to crochet another piece. Next, we will crochet Dumbo's hat. We will use two strands of four ply yellow yarn to crochet Dumbo's hat. Now, let's make a magic ring. Then, we will start with a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. Then, we will crochet six single crochets into the ring. Now six single crochets are complete. Next, let's pull the loop tight. Then, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round two. The pattern for round two is one single crochet plus one single crochet increase as one set. We will repeat for three sets. This will result in a total of nine single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round two is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round three. In round three, we will continue to crochet nine single crochets. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish the nine single crochets. Now round three is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round four. The pattern for round four is two single crochets plus one single crochet increase as one set. We will repeat for three sets. This will result in a total of 12 single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round four is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round five. In round five, we will continue to crochet 12 single crochets. Please continue crocheting one single crochet in each stitch on your own until we finish the 12 single crochets. Now round five is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round six. The pattern for round six is three single crochets plus one single crochet increase. As one set, we will repeat for three sets. This will result in a total of 15 single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round six is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round seven. The pattern for round seven is four single crochets plus one single crochet increase as one set. We will repeat for three sets. This will result in a total of 18 single crochets.
single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round seven is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round eight. The pattern for round eight is five single crochets plus one single crochet increase as one set. We will repeat for three sets. This will result in a total of 21 single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round eight is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. Next, we will start round nine. The pattern for round nine is six single crochets plus one single crochet increase. As one set, we will repeat for three sets. This will result in a total of 24 single crochets. Single crochet increase means to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch. Now round nine is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then, chain one. Next, we will start round ten. The pattern for round ten is six single crochets plus one single crochet decrease as one set. We will repeat for three sets. This will result in a total of 21 single crochets. For the method of single crochet decrease, please refer to the technique shown in my video. Now round 10 is complete. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Then chain one. At this point, Dumbo's hat is finished. Next, we can cut the yarn and leave a long yarn tail for sewing later. Next, we will crochet the claws on Dumbo's arms. We will use one strand of four ply gray yarn to crochet Dumbo's claws. Now let's make a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. Then, we will crochet four chains. Please note that we need to skip the fourth chain. Then, in the one side of the third chain, let's crochet one single crochet. Then, in the next chain's half loop, we will crochet four single crochets into the same half loop. Next, in the last chain's half loop, let's crochet one single crochet once again. Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. At this point, one of the claws is finished. Next, we can cut the yarn directly. And each Dumbo's arm needs three claws, so we will need a total of six claws on Dumbo's arms. Please follow the pattern in the video to crochet the remaining five claws. Next, we will crochet the claws on Dumbo's legs. We will use two strands of four ply gray yarn to crochet Dumbo's claws on legs. Now let's make a knot. Please note that this knot does not count as the first stitch. Then, we will crochet four chains. Please note that we need to skip the fourth chain. Then, in the one side of the third chain, let's crochet one single crochet. Then, in the next chain's half loop, we will crochet four single crochets into the same half loop. Next, in the last chain's half loop, let's crochet one single crochet once again. 
Next, let's join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. At this point, one of the claws is finished. Next, we can cut the yarn directly. And each Dumbo's leg needs three claws, so we will need a total of six claws on Dumbo's legs. At this point, all the parts for our bag are finished. I'll show you how to assemble the bag in the next video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.